whenever any disaster happens, whether it happens through HIV or an accident or some other disease or a calamity, you know, whichever way it happens, how it happened is not the issue. Whenever a human being goes through a certain calamity in his life, which has brought about a certain level of suffering and a threat to life, the only thing that you can do is to strengthen yourself, to make yourself capable of dealing with situations. So when it comes, one thing is society is staying together and helping each other to come out of those situations. When the tsunami happened, everybody is reaching out. I don't understand why they are not reaching out to the HIV situation the same way, with the same vigor. Why not? So in terms of prevention, whatever is being done is being done. But the true prevention only happens out of individual and social responsibility. It is not the medical infrastructure which can do this. The medical infrastructure can assist the society, but social and individual responsibility, more responsible ways of living is what can really change the situation. And above all, for those who have already been affected by the HIV infections, through whatever means, it doesn't matter. First thing is to take away the social stigma attached to it so that the issue can be handled sensibly without wild emotional reactions to it. And one dimension of rehabilitation which I feel has not been taken care of is because if you want to rehabilitate a person from a debilitating situation like HIV infection, it's very important that it is handled on all levels, physical, psychological, emotional and spiritual dimensions of the human being and of course considering the social aspect. Through yogic systems, we can put the life process to a new gear. We can put the life energies to a new level of vibrance through which the immune system will definitely respond better and whatever medication that one is taking will be much more effective if this technology could be made use of. This ancient science that has always been in this country has in many ways helped people to rejuvenate their systems from various kinds of uh, diseases and uh, life-defeating situations within themselves, both physiologically and psychologically. Though it is not a cure, definitely it could stabilize their system and give them a reasonable span of life.